Hi everyone, it's Erin from aeadventures.ca. Uh, we wanted to make a video to show you guys how the yarn winder works, so I just wanted to, yeah, here we go. Uh, so this is the spool that we use to wind the wool on. You'll notice that we have, that there's two CDs on this side, okay, because this is where your pulley is going to work. Um, so, uh, basically we made this uh, a lot of scrap wood we had around the house. And then this is the motor from a sewing machine my mom had that stopped working. So, um, with the motor still working, and uh, so we were able to salvage it, and we made this for pretty much nothing. It didn't cost us anything to make it all, really. So, I want to show you how it works. Uh, you got your spindle, and this is the belt from the, uh, from the sewing machine. So, you're going to loop it in. You're going to loop it around. CD, okay, so you got it on the, the doweling, and then I'm going to put it in place, slide it in, and I'm going to put the belt around the wheel on this side. Now, you'll notice that this is pretty flexible, okay, and we left it like that on purpose, so you just kind of have to, uh, oops, maybe I got the wrong run there, so you, you kind of have to just have to play with the tension, it doesn't have to be very tight. It just needs to, um, it's, it's like it just kind of uses a little bit of the gravity from the motor pulling down to hold to hold it tight. Um, so uh, this is the bowl I'm going to be using. Uh, this is how much do we have here? It's about 100 meters or 109 yards, uh, three and a half ounces of wool. I like to keep it in a bowl just because um, it helps it flip around a lot smoother. Okay. There's my end. Here we go. So, you know, you can wrap it on, tie it on, whatever you want to do to make it stay there. Um, so, this is, I mean, this is a foot pedal. You can use your foot. I like to get down on the ground and use my hand because I feel like I have more control and I can guide it, the, the yarn better when I'm down here. So, let's see how we do. Okay. Too vigorous. Let's try that again. Head over here. I think I need to tighten this a little bit. So you see, I can just kind of pull it down a little bit there. It's making a bunch of noise, and that's fine. It's just, you know, it's wood on wood. It's not perfect. The dowel may not be uh, right in the middle of the CDs, and that's okay too. It's just, um, don't worry. But to get to the bottom, you know how these things kind of start to get a little bit naughty on us. And. So you can see we got that done pretty quick. Um, I hope you find this uh, video useful and good luck uh, creating your own DIY yarn winder. Um, if you have any ideas or any variations that you've made on your own, um, by all means, send us a message. Let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Okay? Uh, this is Aaron from A&E Adventures. We'll see you later. Bye.